In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a really easy glitch animation in Procreate using the Nike logo. This one should really take you less than 10 minutes. First thing you've gotta do is turn on Animation Assist. Next, we're just gonna duplicate this layer a whole bunch of times because we're gonna be using the exact same layer over and over and over again, just applying different levels of that glitch effect or different amounts of that glitch effect to each frame. So let's start with getting 10 or so frames duplicated out. This first frame we're gonna leave as is. Then the next frame, come up to effect, hit glitch, layer. I'm gonna use signal, you can use any of these and experiment and drag across your screen. And you see the little blue bar here showing you the amount of glitch that you're applying to this frame. This is our first frame. So I just want to apply a little bit, just till I just drag it out until you first see a little bit of glitching. I'm also going to turn off onion skins because uh, I don't want to see the previous frame. Now you can turn onion skins on and off if you want to see the previous frame or the next frame. But since all of the frames are the exact same image over and over again, I'm just going to turn that off for now. Okay, we're now on the third frame. Glitch, layer, signal. I'm going to increase it a little bit more. I'm at maybe like 40%. Cancel out. Next frame, glitch. Signal, drag it to maybe 58%. Exit out. This frame, you could do a couple more frames that are medium glitchiness. On this frame, I'm going to choose to go almost all the way with it. Let's do bef right before it goes wide. I'm gonna go right here, exit, next frame. Now this is where I'm gonna go 100% signal all the way, exit out. Let's just see how it looks for right now. Even that looks really cool. Um, you're just adding a little bit of a glitch to your logo. Now you could add a little bit afterwards, maybe right after it goes wide, you bring it back just a little bit so it eases in to being normal again. So maybe something like that. And then it's normal again. Now what I did on my animation is I added a little bit of a delay, so hold duration for normal for like eight frames. And then I did one final delayed little glitch. But this one isn't as big as the first glitch. Maybe something like that. And then it's nice to have the logo uh, rest at its normal state at the very end. So increase your hold duration of just the final frame and you see that it duplicates the frame or holds the frame for a little bit. Now I'll click play and this is what we're looking like. All right, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments or let me know if there's something you really wanna learn. And I'll catch you in the next video.